How's this one? Taking pictures already, huh? Isn't that what you wanted? That's what that beep was. Yeah. I don't know which one this is. This is the rear one. Okay, I'll mark this in rear. I'll mark this one front. Get this special marking tool here. Mm-hmm. We're gonna rehone these a little bit because they're I don't like to finish in them. Okay. And uh, these are a little tight, so I'm gonna hone those too. I like to be able to put the motor gear without having to beat it in my hammer. So that means we gotta beat them out with a hammer to get them out. Hey, they came out. Look at that. We'll hone that to fit. We'll do the same with this one. We're gonna hone these. We gotta find some head gaskets. Not a problem. Okay, we'll hone these. Bring behind your head, you can see better. Are you filming already? You want me to or no? It doesn't matter. What do you need to say now? I don't care. We got honeys. Alright, we can either fire home or a horse home. We're gonna go to fine home. So not glad we want a fine job, right? Hell yeah. Be so horny. It's a home. It's better already. Yeah. Clean. Shit's been run. Yeah. Not much though. Especially the old home works so. though. It's not even holding here. Yeah, I see that. Custom. A little bit of tape right now. It's sitting over here a little bit. I'm not a good one. Not hitting down here either. Put them around. That's a plus. Yeah, that's kind of important. It's a big difference. Before it into uh, just used a bottle brush. See the hones tapered up here at the top. Mm -hmm. My honing stuff to cover the rings. Much better. That's the old stuff uh, where it ran before. Yeah, the bottle's good. It's on that top. So they must have honed it. They must have went in there like this. What's going on with that? This record, sorry. Let's see if I'm telling everybody everything and you're filming over there, it doesn't help. Yeah, yeah, really. I was trying to pay attention to the you, you were looking though. Yeah, I was getting, getting the full one. Yeah, so anyway, they're uh, they're good enough. Better than they were. The rings might actually work now. A little bit. Buried my tool. <sighs> You done with this now? No. Okay. I'm done with this piece though. Okay. So I'm going to put it over here because we're done with it. I'm going to take these pieces of crap over here to work. I'm going to find a stone that fits and see that does not fit. Mm. I'm going to use one of these smaller ones like this one. Well, I think that's the one maybe. 
Of course, it might be this one too. No, I think it's that one. So this is another fine finish. Okay. So we're gonna hold these out until the wrist pins will actually go in the hole. stuff up. Go from there. Putting in the wrist pin keeper clips. They go this way, not up and down. Okay. There's supposed to be some reason for that. I don't know why though. Probably something to do with G's, momentum, grab, mm -hmm. high RPM. We didn't need that one. Extra parts anyway. Well, they gave us four. I mean, we need. You, you don't probably don't even need them anyways. You know, with the, cause they're not going to slide out if the cylinder, they're inside the cylinder. That's right. I've seen them run that way too. It works good. Makes a little noise though, but you know. sure it's no problem at all. Oh, they must have been a genuine Harley box. We stole them right there. Okay. Okay, we got these crappy used rings in here. Okay. Well, at least they're used. Sure Experienced. You know, we fixed the cylinders, might as well fix the rings. So. I'm going to fix them. So nice brand new vintage ones here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use instead of these nice vintage new ones. We'll save those for a different one for you. Okay. Personal. I'm going to pan it, maybe. I know Dan would do it. Okay, I'm gonna keep the oil rings because I like the three piece oil rings over the one piece. Okay. So is Dan around these days again? He's up in LA. He's up in LA. Hmm. Listen to his knuckle if he wants to start it. Say what? He likes to listen to his knuckle run while he's because he can't ride it yet. No hmm. registration. Yeah. So if he still rides around the block. Um, okay, these have a lot of scratch and stuff in here, so you take a kind of a dull, fine file. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really cut anything. Mm -hmm. Just run across the surfaces and make sure there's no high spots. Mm -hmm. Stick it's kind of a sheen to it. So if there's any burrs, like those, hear those? those yeah. Burrs. This doesn't really take any metal off, it just knocks off the high spots. Mm -hmm. Some more high spots. 
fora. So we want this to be the back. So I'll put the back. Which one is better? Uh, equal. Let me make this side the back. Back is the thrust side. I already scrapped it for the front and rear. That's the front one. Okay. So that'll be the rear one. Mm -hmm. So we've got two rings for that one and two rings for this one. Now let's see if the rings are all the same. This is pressure backed. Pressure backed. Pressure backed. These are all pressure backed rings. So we look for any kind of marking. Of course there are none. Why would they mark them? Who's going to see it anyway? Yeah, it tells you which way they're supposed to go in from the factory. I see. Otherwise they have a 50-50 chance of getting it wrong. Mm. Or right. It's a 100% chance of being wrong. 50% chance of being right. Yeah, these ones don't tell you anything. That's always nice. I see you a bevel to it. Yes, they do. That's why it matters. Bevel goes up or down. It depends if there's any markings. Oh. Markings go up. The problem is I see no markings. That makes it. You gotta decide which way you wanna do it. All right, I'll go look at some instructions here in a little bit. Figure it out. Okay, we're going to cylinders clean up the rest of the way. So we probably could reuse these gaskets because they probably got zero miles on them already. Okay, we're going to go ahead and replace them. We'll keep those for the next job. Okay. Definitely bad. Yeah. That would definitely leak. That's not even a good mock up gasket. No, no. Finish we had in there? Beautiful. Until we're done. Okay. I'm going to clean these one more time. So use my CRC. I need to deep bird these edges in when they board these. Nice and sharp. Touch it with them. Sharp edges. Notice that one has a chip out of the back of it. Custom. Since it doesn't come down that low anyway. Snail tooth. Yeah. You're lucky you even got any fins on these things and put these things on eBay and sell them for 500 bucks a piece, probably because there is one. Let's 
standard bore 74. Hmm. I got another pair in the house that came with this thing too. Mm -hmm. Probably the reject ones. Could be, I don't know. All right. So we're all cleaned up. Okay, shut that down for a minute. I'm gonna look for the rings.